And now in this video, we will start with the most uh, basic command that is unzip command. Okay. So uh, first, uh, how we will start? Uh, I will create a one directory that is uh, sorry mkdir zip and I will move into that particular directory and I will create some files one dot txt. Uh, so sorry two dot txt. 3.txt okay now these three files has been created now what I like to do I want to zip all these three files in uh, one particular zip file okay so 1.2xt 2.txt 3.txt and I want to zip all these in a single file that is files.zip okay all has been added I will do ls here you can see files.zip and uh, for your reference I will open up this directory and here you can see all these files and zip files are there in the in this directory so now in this particular we are going to study about uh, unzip how you can unzip these particular files and particular zip files okay so the most basic and um, simple uh, like uh, command that is unzip we used to like uh, extract files of this particular zip file so how we can do it we will just use unzip and the particular file name <coughs> sorry and here you can see it is asking me for do you want to replace or not okay so i will just uh, hit ctrl c right now okay uh because i don't want to create any confusion for you guys first what i will do i will just create all uh remove all these one dot txt two dot txt and three dot txt files i have now deleted all these files now what uh, now i will use unzip and the files dot zip and it will simply uh, like extract all the files which are present in this files dot zip for your reference let me open it so you can see uh, what are the files is present so here you can see these are the three files which are present in this particular zip file so i will hit this command and done we you have simply extracted all the files of that particular files.zip file okay so uh, this is a very simple way to extract files and now moving forward uh suppose uh, like uh, you want to use these files and these 1.2.3.txt in some kind of another locations uh, suppose in many cases you want to store these files in some other directories okay so uh, how you can do it uh, without uh, like uh, extracting all these files in the same directory in which your files are zip so but uh, you can extract this file in some other directories also so how you can do it this is very simple now what i will do uh, i will open up a new terminal or Okay, let me open up a new terminal. Uh, let me increase a little bit of font size for you and uh, I will create uh, one folder that is extracted files. Okay, I will move into this folder and I will copy the whole path that is home I use extracted files okay in uh, uh, this uh, terminal you can copy by control shift c okay i will just move it uh, here now what uh, if you want to like unzip uh, files in some particular directory so for this we use basically hyphen d option okay in this we will provide the path of that particular particular directory where you want to store that particular uh, extracted files so unzip and then the file name which you want that is files.zip and hyphen d and then control shift v and here we want our files in this extracted files directory okay now what we will do here i will do just ls in this particular terminal and here you can see all of these files has been like uh, extracted in this particular directory so in this way also like you can uh, store your uh, extracted files in some kind of another directory okay so this is another simple trick uh, like uh, which uh, uh, you should know about it and also there are many options like uh, suppose in case uh, what happens you have extracted your files uh, 
uh, zip file already but uh, sometimes also what happens uh, you accidentally click on it so in this case in Linux what happens when you try to like unzip files and uh, in the same directory or you can say in another another so here you can see we have already these files 123.txt what what where what will happen when I will try to hit the same command again so it will ask me for do you want to override these files or none or nothing or else okay I said uh, I will say yes okay and again it, it is asking for 1.2xt again I will say yes again for 2.txt and 3.txt okay yes so again these all the files has been replaced okay in case if I uh, would made any changes in this well then I will definitely choose no because uh, I don't want to create any kind of problem for myself okay so uh, like this is the basic uh, options which we can use to unzip files and also uh, like you should know about one more option that is uh, hyphen Q option what is that okay uh, I will show you by uh, first what I will do I will remove the all these the one dot and all these files from this directory okay so here you can see there is only files dot zip what basically in simple case what happens when I do it will show me these messages okay extracting these files extracting 2.txt extracting 3.txt uh, in some cases we, we don't want these kind of information because we know it will simply extract the files so for this what we can use we can use just uh, hyphen Q option hyphen Q and then file store zip it will uh, just avoid uh, like it will not print any kind of extra things so uh, for before hitting this command I will try to again remove all those files and now I will use hyphen Q option and done so in this case we didn't get any kind of information or any kind of message like whether this file has been extracted or not okay now again let me remove it and I will again tell you one more option that is hyphen L option basically if you are aware of ls command so you will definitely know about ls hyphen L option which basically like list all the uh, means list the files in a long format okay you can say like we get many kind of things like date time user guest not guest uh, groups user groups uh, access time modify time we get all those kind of information and simply uh, you can say permissions also like we will have a separate lecture on permissions okay so now what we can do unzip hyphen l and again I will try to unzip these files uh, it is looking so much like uh, so much stuff other let me clear first in screen now again I will write ngp iPhone L and then file store zip and here you can see the more extra information about the extracted files you can see the length the length is zero and uh, date time name all these things all these things okay so it basically doesn't extract but it simply shows you the whatever the files are present in the particular uh, zip file so, okay so that's it for today